Welcome back, comrades, to the second episode of the day. And yes, we are legit about to show you the fastest, most legit, most insane way to get free trophies, guys. 100%, 100% legit free trophies inside a COC. No matter what league you are in, this will work. And I'm about to show you that this can get you into Champions League, no problem. So the first thing you've got to ask yourself is, are you a Town Hall 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe even an up-and-coming Town Hall 11, but you struggle just like me to win some attacks sometimes? I mean, I'm going to hold my hands up, guys. I'm not the best attacker in the world. I will admit that right now. But you know what? My defense helps me out so much. So the question, the first question is, Tony, how have you gone from Crystal 1 to Masters 2 in 24 hours? So that's about four or 500 trophies. But all you've done is four attacks, and you've gained 38 trophies from attack. So I've gone up 400 trophies, but only 38 of them have been from winning attacks in 24 hours. So how have I done it? It's really quite simple, guys. Follow this three or four step process and you yourself will be inside of the Masters League in no time. So if we just go into the defense log, we are going to go down to the 24 hour line mark here as well. So where is it? Where is it? There we go. Okay, so that is the first defense 24 hours ago. And hey, presto, look, the first defense is free trophies. Second defense, free trophies. Yeah, we lost a little bit of loot there. Free, 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 free. All the bloody free trophies that we could ever dream of, guys. When we go to sleep at night, we know that we are getting ourselves some free trophies. So the question is, how have I done this? It's quite simple. So as I said, it is going to be a two or three, maybe even four step process. The first step is quite simple, guys. Get yourself a menacing trophy base. Now, this is going to work for Town Hall 7, 8, 9, 10, and of course, Town Hall 11 when it does come out. But get yourself a decent trophy base. Now, mine isn't the best trophy base in the world. I will literally tell you right now, I would not use this base if you are a Town Hall 10. I am going to be changing this base up. I will always tell you when my bases are bad, guys. And this is one of the bad ones. So we are going to change this base after the video. So once you've got yourself a menacing trophy base, once you've done that, guys, the second step may make some of you upset. But trust me, do it. If you want some free trophies, do this. All you need to do is drain all of your storages. So drain your gold, drain your elixir, and of course... It's got to be done, guys. Drain the Dark Elixir because that is one of the main things that makes people attack your base. So the reason why we've got so many free trophies is quite simply, we had no loot inside of our base. So then you've got to ask yourself, but why have I lost so much loot here? Well, the reason is I started to gain quite a little bit of Dark Elixir and I didn't want to drain it because I am trying to get my queen to level 20. So I decided to keep the Dark Elixir. So that Dark Elixir alone made people attack my base. So if we go into the most recent defense, guys you are gonna see these people just surely wanted to take on my dark elixir so this guy is actually gonna be using the super queen strategy I love this strategy the most recent two attacks have both been super queen which is strange because no one really uses that any well no not no one really uses that anymore no one just uses it on my base I've never really seen anyone use it on my base and it's quite weird as well because this guy had a level 33 queen and the next one had a level 40 queen the next one done so much damage with the queen it was insane so we are going to speed this up, guys, but you are about to see this guy really does go to town on my base. I mean, he manages to get all the way over here, takes out over half my base with no problem, no issue for him at all. I have just done a town or nine farming base previous to this video. So if you are at town or nine and you want to protect your loot, maybe a little bit more, then go check out that video as well. So you can see here the king, the queen, the world, well, the queen's down. See you later, darling. The king, the hero, not the hero, the king, the giants and the wizards have made their way into the base using that rage spell. It's just been complete destruction. There's no other way to put it. They've grabbed the Dark Elixir. So the raid is going to end shortly, guys. So we are going to go four times speed. I mean, this base has just been completely destroyed. There is no way around it. That level 30 king is an absolute beast. Absolute beast. Destroyed my base. And there we go. You know what, though? We only lost two trophies. So as I said, that was the second defensive replay that you saw. The most recent is also the Super Queen. So let's just go in for this quickly as well. Now this is entertaining, guys. Trust me, this is one awesome raid. So he actually starts off by using Barch. So he takes out loads of the actual structures using Barch. Probably trying to get himself to 30, 40%. And then he drops in the Super Queen. And look at the work this girl does. I mean, this is a this is a really bad base, to be honest. I mean, look, the two air defenses are so damn close together. The Inferno Tower is down. Two of the Wizard Towers are down as well. The Queen just got in there took 50% the guy didn't even go for the tunnel but you know what once again he only got a single trophy so now that I've shown you how to get yourself some free trophies please guys this is legit do not be do not fear don't don't think that this is fake don't think that this is fake honestly 
It is 100% legit. They are free trophies. I mean, look, there's no other way I can prove it. So many free trophies. It's ridiculous. We've gone from Crystal 1 to Masters 2. We're at 2,904 trophies. I'm going to say right now, we are going to be inside of the Champions League by tomorrow. And we are going to start losing more defenses. Obviously, the higher you go, the harder it's going to get. But you know what? It's it's just damn worth it. Just drain your loot storages. Spend it on walls. That's what i done. I spent it on a couple of these badass walls here. So spend it on a few walls. Keep your Dark Elixir if you want to. Maybe try and upgrade your heroes if you can. But just try and drain as much loot as possible. Set yourself a good base. And you will find trophies will just start rolling in. So we are about to get ourselves into a live attack. Let's see if we can find some loot. And then let's see if we can get any free defenses. Okay, here we go guys. We've landed on this Town Hall 10 base. Now, it's, it's not the easiest base to take on, damn right no. But we are now inside of the Masters 2, which means the loot bonus alone is going to allow me to replenish all of the loot that this army costs me. I mean, it's just a standard botch, so it really is damn cheap. So we are going to go for that Town Hall 10 there. The Town Hall, sorry, well, yeah, Town Hall 10. So we're going to drop in some of our Barch units, drop in some of our Barbarians, Archers just behind, try and clear some of these structures out. You know what, we may even get the 2-star on this base, but I'm not really, I don't think it's going to happen. But we'll see what happens anyway. So we're going to drop the King and the Queen inside of that one hole there. They should be able to take down that Town Hall. Now there is a lot of splash damage coming in from that Mortar. Unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to take it out. Big Bomb goes off there as well. But the Queen's going to clear some of these structures. And then the King's going to tank for her. We're going to be able to take down these buildings, no problem. So we're going to take out that Archer Tower there because it is doing some damage to my little Barbarian King. King is working on that wall there. We're going to send some more barbs in just to back him up a little bit. You know what? We're going to take out that Elixir Storage there as well. So the King is going down, but he's still got a bit of health left. Let's send in, send in some of these Archers. Here we go. We're going to rage up the King now. Go on, my son. Take out that Tunnel. There we go. Tunnel has just gone down. We're going to use the Queen's ability as well. There's no way we are getting ourselves a second star here. So we are going to go ahead and end it there. Look at that. 102,000 Elixir plus the loot bonus. I mean, the loot bonus is just so damn beautiful. So there we have it, guys. A legit, honest way that you can get yourself into a high, high league is a Town Hall 7, 8, 9, 10, and of course, Town Hall 11 when it comes out. So the thing that loads of people ask me every single day is, Tony, can we join your clan? Well, oh, well, 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 well. Are you going to be able to join? Let's see how many members we have. Okay, so we've got, we got 44 members. I am going to open up the clan. Well, I'll get the co-leaders to maybe help me open up the clan because it could be flooded. We are only accepting, guys. I don't make the rules here, I promise you. I'm a new co-leader. Look, I'm, I'm just co, guys. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I am just the co. I was the founder of the clan, but I give it to Salim because he's a little bit more active in the clan chat than me. So, if you want to join the clan, there are six spaces available. Now, you have to be a Tunnel 9. You cannot be rushed, guys. You cannot be rushed. And you need 350 War Stars. So, that is if you want to join the clan as a Tunnel 9. Sorry, wait. 350? It says 250 in the description, but I believe it's 350 now. Now, if you're a Tunnel 7, 8, and even a Rush Tunnel 9 or something along those lines, and you want to join another clan, you can join our feeder. Once again, though, I don't really think they accept Rush players, guys. The feeder is called General Yuju. So remember, there are only six spaces, guys. Now, there's probably going to be three or 4,000 people that view this video within the first hour or so. So if you are one of those six, damn, you're going to be lucky. That, that's the only thing I can say, because there are only six spaces. Now, do not worry if you did want to join and you don't manage to join. People come and go every single week, guys. There's going to be a chance for you to join. Just, just be patient. I promise you, you will most likely get in as long as you meet the requirements. So as I said, there are now going to be three videos every single day on this channel, guys. Going to try and do three videos every single day. Now, one of them is most likely going to be a base build for the number one requested base of that day. And then the other two are just going to be videos that I want to produce to you. And ones that you would love to see, ones that you get entertained by. So if you have any ideas for anything that you would love to see, let me know in the comment section down below. Whether it's a troll base design, whether it's like certain attack strategies, it can be absolutely anything, guys. Interact with me in the comment section. I love replying applying to you guys. So now we are about to get ourselves into today's shout out. So today's shout out goes to Matt, M-A-T-T Inc, I-N-K. Now he was the one who managed to guess the famous movie scenes quotes first guys. There were quite a few of you that managed to get the answer right, but he was the first one that I could see in the comment section down below. So you have won a $10 gift card Matthew, so please let me know, drop me a DM and let me know what gift card you want. So if you want to win some Murray shout out guys, here is what we're going to do. So seeing as this is all about trophies, there is only going to be one option. How many trophies am I going to be on by the first episode of the day tomorrow, guys? So you've seen I've pushed 400 to 500 trophies in 24 hours. So you've got to ask yourself, if he's done that in 24 hours, 
What's the next 24 hours going to hold? I am about to do a six hour trophy kind of push, guys. Right now, I am about to boost my barracks. I'm going to be pushing for the next six hours. Hopefully, I can be in Champions League by the end of the day. Don't forget, it's not for today's latest episode. We are doing three episodes today. It's going to be for tomorrow's first episode. So how many trophies am I going to be on by the first episode of the day tomorrow? Let me know any social media that you would love a shout out for, guys. I will see you shortly for the third episode of the day in about three or four hours time. Hit the like button down below if you have enjoyed this don't forget to sub to the channel right now for two videos every single day i will see you shortly guys peace out